A great divide exists in this country over policing. A lot of it's based on opinion, perspective, culture, and much more. To say that it's complex, well, that's an understatement. But one thing is ironclad and irrefutable, statistics. Five years ago, the Star Tribune compiled a list of names, circumstances, stories, and other data about every police-involved death in Minnesota since the year 2000. And the stats are revealing. There have been 208 people who died in a police encounter since then. All but six are men, 90% of them homicides. Geographically, about one-third of all police-involved deaths of citizens occur in Minneapolis and St. Paul proper, about a third in the greater metro suburbs, and the remaining third happen outside the metro area. 2019 saw the most deaths by police, 14. This year, we're already half of that at seven. Peel back to 2000, and we see this is the racial makeup of those who died in police encounters. 57% white, 26% black. Compare that with the population of Minnesota, and you see black people only make up 7% of the population. It's not just death statistics that tell a story. And of course, we found some um, pretty startling data. Jay Wong is a public defender in Hennepin County. Last summer, after George Floyd was murdered, Wong looked into Minneapolis city data. And he found that four out of every five traffic stops resulting in a search involved black or East African people. For the first half of 2020, um, 691 black and East African drivers were searched after a vehicle stop compared with 97 white drivers. That's a huge difference. He also found that white drivers who were searched were twice as likely to be arrested. Wong believes this means police were not finding as much on black drivers when they were searched. Finally, this is not a unique finding just for Minnesota. A recent study from Stanford University examined 100 million traffic stops nationwide, and it found black drivers were stopped far less at night when race of a driver is relatively hidden. It found the bar for searching drivers was lowered for black and Hispanic drivers, and that legalizing marijuana had a profound impact in lowering search rates in all race categories. For Breaking the News, I'm Chris Arabsky.